Shout out to the Kim fans. <laughs> Getting married. It's kind of crazy. Press your soul. Hello. We're at the dress rehearsal. Not now. He did. He admitted that he was a little bit emotional during our rehearsal. Now we are going to our dinner reservation and then we're gonna relax the rest of the night and get ready for the big day tomorrow. <laughs> Permanent, it doesn't have to make much sense. Believe me, when it rains, it pours. The race was there, start something new. Create the person that you choose. Open all the doors for you. Okay. I'll go first. Okay. I'll go first. Okay. I see you're gonna cry. Oh no! <laughs> you want me to go first? I can do it. Okay. <sighs> to my first and last love. We talked about marriage and our futures together almost immediately after we started dating. And the day we dreamt of is finally here. Little did I know that one church of I had a crush on at 14 would be standing in front of me today. You were my first boyfriend, my first prom date, and my first kiss, and I can't wait to experience all of my firsts and lasts with you. I promise to rewatch every episode you sleep through the night before without complaint. I promise not to get too annoyed when you ask to golf for the second time that week. And most importantly, I promise to love you as your wife, the future mother of your children, and as your best friend. Throughout our many years of dating, you've shown me what unconditional love is. You took all of my baggage and committed yourself to me. You were patient with me and gave me the space and time to learn to be vulnerable. You taught me that I was capable of being loved. Every day, you remind me of Christ's love. To be fully known and fully accepted was a concept so foreign to me, yet you saw all of me and you still chose me. I am so in love with you. I've spent nearly half my life with you already. Mm. 
and I can't wait to grow old with you. <sighs> 11 years down, forever to go. Love, your wife. <laughs> Dear Sally, I loved you in our first movie date at Valco, and I love you now through our movie pass days to Netflix in bed every night. I loved you when I gave you the first ring that I made at church. I love you now even more as I'm about to put on the wedding band on the same finger. I loved you through all the graduations and celebrations. I love you even more now as we hit the biggest milestone of our lives today. I love that I had a best friend to do life with all these years, a best friend to share my laughs and my tears, a best friend to be myself, both the good and the bad. I love that I get to marry that same best friend today. Sally, I love that you have one of the biggest hearts for people. I love that your heart goes out against the injustices of this world. I love that you are always other-centered and selfless. I love that you always put your family first, even in your own special ways of expressing that. I love that you are the best mommy to our Emma. Uh, it makes me so excited to start a family with you one day. I love how you are growing to open up yourself to others and learning to share who you really are. I love that I get to marry that, the most beautiful girl, uh, the woman of my dreams today. I promise to love you and cherish you. I promise to trust in a heavenly father and lead you to Christ and to show his sacrificial, unconditional love for the rest of our lives. I promise to love you with all my imperfections and to remind you of our God's perfect love for you. I love you, Sally Hyunjoo Kim, my best friend, and my wife. <laughs> this for the vlog. Hey, what's Hello. up, Sally Kim Seven fans? <laughs> Getting married. Cheers, Sally! Cheers, Sally! I love the silent chugging. <laughs>
take your seats at this time. Friends and family, we are gathered here in the sight of God in the presence of one another to unite together Paul Kim and Sally Kim in holy matrimony. I think it's therefore appropriate that we begin our celebration service with a word of prayer. So if you could bow your heads, let's turn to God and lift up a prayer. Father, we thank you so much. All my life you have been faithful. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running out, it's running out to me. By the authority committed to me as the pastor and minister of the gospel, I declare that on this day, 2022, Paul and Sally are now husband and wife according to the ordinance of God, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So those whom God has joined together, let no one ever separate. Paul, this is your big moment. Please kiss your bride. At this time, we'll have a moment to honor the parents. with great joy and great honor and great happiness that I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Paul and Sally Kim. The writing's never permanent, it doesn't have to make much sense, believe me when it rains it pours. Erase what's there, start something new, create the person that you choose, open all the doors for you. Them in, don't let them read what's written on the wall. Bad things are gonna happen if you read into them all. The words I could rewrite, erase my walls inside. Make sure. Hi.
Thank you all for being here today celebrating Sally and Paul's over a decade long relationship. Um, I don't think any of us know of any other couple that's been dating for as long and as early as they have. So truly, it's an honor to be here on their wedding day. I'm Jane, Sally's sister. You probably can't tell because we don't look alike and we're very, very different. Sally has a multiple page printout of every detail of her wedding day down to each minute of today. I wrote this speech on the plane on my way here yesterday. <laughs> I'm the older one, um, even though I look much younger, I know. But in fact, I am exactly one year, three months, and five days older than Sally, which also means I've been an older sibling as soon as I was born. When I was younger, I was quite bitter about this. I felt like I was robbed of my only child era that all older siblings experience. Especially because growing up, Sally always did things before me. She had her first boyfriend before me, Paul. <laughs> she got her driver license and car before me. And this year she's bought a freaking house. And now she's getting married before me, <laughs> of course. So Sally has always accomplished big life events before I have which kind of makes me the shit older sibling. Thanks, Sally. Thank you for being the perfect child so that I can be the black sheep of the family. But seriously, thank you. I can't imagine my life without you. You're the sister I never wanted. <laughs> who has become the very best thing that's ever happened in my life. You're, the clo you're my closest friend and family. And as much as we're different, we understand each other in ways that nobody else can. And you have shaped me to be the person I am today in the best way possible. So thank you, you're the best. People look at you and you know, they think you're nice, friendly, <laughs> effortlessly beautiful, <laughs> which you are annoyingly enough. <laughs> but you're also so much more than that. You're one of the hardest working person I know. You basically work two full-time careers <laughs> while simultaneously planning a wedding and buying a house at the same time and somehow still balancing a social life in addition to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. I don't know how you do it. You're also fiercely loyal and compassionate to those you love. There's a reason why you've maintained such long relationships throughout your life. You're unafraid to fight for those closest to you it pisses you off like no other when your loved ones are attacked, so much so that you will literally get out of a moving vehicle to scold people who are rude to our parents. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> and I feel extremely lucky to be your sister and feel your unconditional love and support. Paul, I'm sure you already know, but I hope you know how lucky you are to be one of Sally's special people. And speaking of Paul, <laughs> I want to thank you too. Thank you for being the good Christian Korean boy that my parents have always wanted for us. It really takes the pressure off of me. <laughs> I've known you for quite some time now. Let's just say that teenager me would have never in a million years imagined I would be here today at your, your guys' wedding. <laughs> but I think you always knew. Paul wrote a letter to me years ago in high school. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and it started with... Dear sister-in-law, which at the time I was like, who do you think you are? <laughs> but, but I guess you're right. And you know what? I'm happy you're right. It's truly been a privilege to watch you two grow together. You've always been there for Sally from her middle school graduation. <laughs> to her high school graduation and college graduation. And um, all jokes aside, I see how much you care and love for my sister, 
and it's really sweet and admirable. Like when Sally wanted a dog and you didn't. You guys compromised and got Emma. <laughs> Paul, you are a wise man <laughs> who truly understands happy wife, happy life. Paul, welcome to the family. I, f <laughs> I feel like you already were years ago, but now we're making it official. I look forward to continue seeing you at every new life and family event in the future. Sally, <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> Thanks for being the best sister. <laughs> I will do my best on finding a doctor or lawyer brother-in-law for you. <laughs> Cheers to the beautiful couple. To a long, happy, healthy, eternal life for Sally and Paul. <laughs>